Repairing skin tears in the elderly can be difficult because of the cheese wire effect where the skin is so fragile that ordinary suture simply tears through whenever you apply tension to it. If steri strips and tissue glue alone aren't enough, there are a few hybrid methods that can improve your chances of success. You want to begin by exposing any hidden real estate. Skin tears often roll up like a window shade as the skin recoils, and it can be hard to unfurl these hidden remnants, especially if the wound is all stiff with crusted blood or contaminants. In many cases, topical anesthetic alone is enough. Soaking the entire wound both cleans it and makes the skin flexible again. And once you've done that, if you gently stroke the wound margins with a moistened swab, you'll often find large amounts of viable skin that were hidden before. If you apply some benzoin and steri strips to the wound margins, you can then suture through the steri strips and the skin together. The steri strip provides enough support so you can put tension on the suture without ripping through the skin. The steri strips simply stay in place until the sutures are removed about 10 days later. One advantage of this over tissue glues is that the patient can put antibiotic ointment on the wound without weakening the repair. Just have them put it right over the suture so it can track through the holes in the steri strips to reach the wound. For very high tension tears, you can take some of those super sticky cardiac monitor stickers and fold them over about a third of the way like this. Once the wound's been cleaned, you gotta dry the skin along the margins really well with alcohol preps and benzoin if you have it. Once it's dried completely, apply the stickers like this. Now you can suture through the rolled over parts of the stickers. Depending on the wound, you can sew through the stickers and the skin or just the stickers, it's up to you. Now that all that tension is relieved, you can apply tissue glue to the wound margins and also to the monitor stickers so they'll stay in place longer. In addition to the glue, you could also put on some steri strips and even a suture or two if you want. 